investigation into the assassination of Haiti's president. As more arrests are made, we are learning new details about the attack and the two Americans detained. The U.S. sending in the FBI to help with this investigation. ABC's Marcus Moore is on the ground in Haiti, where he spoke with the acting prime minister. Marcus, good morning to you. Eva, good morning. The acting prime minister here, Claude Joseph, said that the, the president was tortured uh, during Wednesday's attack, and we also know that he was shot 12 times. And this morning, Joseph is vowing to find the people responsible. This morning, Haiti on the brink of chaos after the assassination of President Jovenel Moise. The interim Haitian government requesting American troops to help protect critical infrastructure. The FBI and Department of Homeland Security sending personnel to help investigate the assassination. The United States remains engaged and in close consultations with our Haitian and international partners to support the Haitian people. About a thousand Haitians gathered outside the U.S. Embassy after unsubstantiated rumors the U.S. would be handing out humanitarian visas. Three days after the attack, at least 20 people have been arrested, including two Americans with ties to Haiti. Their alleged roles in the attack are unclear, but both men said they were only working as translators. We asked the acting prime minister, Claude Joseph, about their alleged involvement. They have said that they were uh, merely translators um, in the midst of this, this operation um, and that they were set up. Um, is that true? Only the investigation can tell. It is an investigation that so far has netted the arrest of more than a dozen suspects said to be from Colombia. The head of police in that country says the group traveled to Haiti in two teams crossing from the Dominican Republic. Is there a power struggle going on right now? Who is in charge here in Haiti? I'm not paying attention to whether or not there's a power struggle. I'm paying attention to uh, giving justice to President Jovenel Moyes. And this morning, there is another political battle brewing, really no clear indication of who will lead this country, uh, co this country next. Uh, but a third name uh, has emerged as the next uh, prime minister after a political groups came to an agreement to not only pick a new president, but also a prime minister. And, and Dan, it gives you a real sense of the, the complex situation that is unfolding here in Haiti. It's a horrifying story, and the stakes are so high for the people there. Marcus, thank you very much for your reporting. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.